next international speaker, Patty Alfonso. Woo! Hello, everybody! I'm so excited to be here. Are you guys excited? I get excited, my body moves. <laughs> okay, so um, I actually want to ask you a few questions while I'm up here. And I want to start off with, if you could imagine if you had a friend and you hang out all the time and you live together and you go places together and they're all like, here, eat this. Here, put this on. Here, sit here. Oh, we're going to go do this today. Would you be friends with that person for a long time? I know I wouldn't. I'm like, excuse me? Uh-uh, right? <laughs> so I actually work with people and I help them create a greater connection with their body so that they can have more fun, better relationships, make more money. And what I would like to invite you to in the next few minutes is into a new way of being with your body. What if your body was your best friend? I mean, really, it goes with you everywhere. I know I can't leave home without mine. <laughs> And I'm going to share with you the three tools that I've used to create that friendship with my body, that connection with my body. When you include your body in your life, when you include your body in the fun, everything gets greater. So one of the things that, um, one of the tools is asking your body questions for everything, anything that has to do with your body. So body, what would you like to eat today? Body, where do you want to go today? Body, what would you like to wear? I know that when I started asking my body what she wanted to wear, my wardrobe completely changed. I'm serious. I was like, okay, body, should we go shopping today? And my body was like, yeah, let's go. So we'd go shopping, and I'd end up at a store, and I was like, that? You want me to wear that? Okay. And I'd take it into the, to the dressing room, and I'd put it on. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> So the next tool is following the energy. Now notice when I went shopping, I was like, really? My mind was like, mm, I'm not putting that on, uh-uh. But my body was like, yes. So when you ask the question and you follow the energy, what is light is true for you. And what is heavy is not true for you. Now sometimes your body and your mind have different points of view and different opinions. My mind did not want to put on that dress. But the second I stepped in and I put it on, my body went whoosh. And I was like, oh, okay. So if it's light and expansive and it makes you smile and you're excited, that's light and it's true for you. Choose that. And if you're like, I don't want to do that, and it's heavy and it's a contraction and you're all of a sudden you're like this, heavy. Don't go there. No matter what your mind says, don't go there. The next and last tool that I want to share with you is about moving your body. We have a saying in the work that I do, it's called use it or lose it. <laughs> You've got to keep your body moving, whether it's yoga or, I mean, I like to dance. Sometimes I like to go karaoke and do some craziness on the stage, whether it's dancing or yoga or running, <laughs> whatever it is, if it's fun for your body, what if the purpose of us all being here is to have fun? If you didn't have a body, would you need food? Or a car? Or clothes? Wouldn't you like to include your body in that conversation? Think of that friend, if they didn't include you in the conversation, you don't want to be around them anymore. Now, when you choose to have fun with your body, and you're having a good time, and your body's included, guess what? Money follows joy. So you create, and you create money, and money's like, I want to come to that party. If you're having like a, you think money wants to come play with you? No, you want to be over here, let's have a good time. And I get it, sometimes things aren't, you know, fun, but how much fun can you have? And I really want to invite you into honoring the wisdom the innate wisdom that is in your body. The moment of conception, every single cell in your body knows exactly what it's gonna do for the rest of its life. As you sit here, your heart is pumping. You're breathing. Your blood is circulating. You're not doing anything for that. 
That is the innate brilliance of your body. Would you be willing to include that brilliance in your life? <laughs> She's like, yeah, yeah. When I started including my body in everything, I had a friend, she asked me the other day, she's like, are you always this happy? And I was like, well, you know, I have my tough times, right? We all do. But when I started including my body in my life, things just blew up. I went in my business from like sitting in my room alone, I'm an entrepreneur doing all my work, to a global business with clients from all over the world. And that's because of the joy of having a body, the joy of being in this world. Would you be willing to have the joy of living? Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you.